We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined by Minister Mobula Johnson who is the Minister of Communication Technology of Nigeria. Minister Johnson, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's good to be back again. I'd like to start off by talking about the new GemTech Awards uh, which we're launching this year. What's your, what's your opinion about these awards? It, these awards are a great thing. I think the ITU has done a tremendous job in terms of creating that awareness of the importance of having girls and women in ICTs. And I think what the awards has done is actually moving from awareness building into actually getting something done. And you know how human beings are. What, what gets measured gets done. And really what gets rewarded will definitely be accomplished. So I think rewarding uh, countries, individuals, uh, NGOs who have done something to move the needle in getting girls and women into ICTs, I think it's a great thing. So I really commend the ITU. And also uh, teaming up with UN Women, I think, was a very a major strategic decision because UN Women has this as their own uh, sole agenda. It's about women inclusion, empowerment of women. Teaming up with UN Women just ensures that I think it ensures that we'll actually get more traction in this getting girls and women into ICT's agenda that we have. For those people who aren't aware, what, what are the GemTech Awards as such? It's actually ge mainstreaming gender into ICT's, that's really what it is. And it really is about trying to close that digital divide, which has been very well researched. There's a big divide between men and women in terms of how they use ICT's. And if we all say that ICT's empower people, empowers development, health, education, then if we're leaving out half the population, then you know this has become really a national agenda for all countries, not just a, an ITU agenda. What does it mean to be a woman in technology? What would you, and what would you like to see for the female citizens in the ICT world? Do you, do you believe that it's achievable, that, uh, that mainstream can happen? Hmm. I think a woman in technology means that you're quite alone because we've just talked about the fact that there are not enough women in, in technology, but it means you're, you're, you're quite alone. But I think that what it does mean, even if you look at the ITU member states, I think there are 190 something member states, there are probably about a dozen female, female ministers. And so you're quite alone, but that's not a bad thing. What it means is that at least for those of us that are in these kind of positions, we can actually influence uh, how we use ICTs to empower women, how we use ICTs to bring more women. Whether it's in terms of careers, it's in terms of being more producers and consumers of content on the internet, all those things matter in terms of closing this digital divide. So that's what it means to me. It's just being in a position that you can actually influence and ensure that we close this digital divide. Um, for young women in ICTs, what I would love to see, honestly, is that if we had the you know, industrial revolution, engineering, very much a male-dominated uh, field, male-dominated revolution, we now have the ICT revolution, internet, I would like to see um, a better balance between men and women. And really, this is possible. I see what's happening all over the world. We look at software development. It's not about brawn, it's about brain, it's about intellect, it's about creativity. All of these things women have in equal proportion as, as men. And I think that what my vision is to have many more women. It's, it shouldn't be a gender thing anymore. Many more women should not mind being called geeks. Many more women should be involved in ICTs and all its ramifications. And really, I think this is very, very possible. And my vision is that when it comes to an ICT revolution, women, women will be just as included and just as empowered as, as men are. But I think just to add to that, there, there are a number of things that we found in the research that we did, particularly in Nigeria, where we found one of the reasons for this digital divide is because uh, when it comes to other parts of disempowerment of women, education, uh, access to education, um, uh, that really does have an impact on access to ICTs and utilization of ICTs. So we still need to team up with other sectors to ensure that if we get w women better educated, their likelihood of using ICTs is actually greater than it would be if they weren't educated. So that's another way in which we need to team up and ensure this thing happens. And this is a cross-generational aim, is it? Across generations, yes, but I think that what we do find, thank you for reminding me of that, what we do find is that the younger women are and the younger they're introduced into ICTs, the more likely they are to embrace ICTs growing up. So, yes, you're absolutely right. So, really, what the ITU has done, starting off with the girls in ICT Day, is tremendous because what it does very early on in a young girl's life is to show her that this is not a man's field. You can also be an, a, a telecoms engineer. You can also be an ICT person. You can also be a software developer. And once that is inculcated and ingrained in their minds, it's very much easy for them to continue with careers in ICTs and be, like I said, producers of content and not just consumers as the case is today. Are you satisfied with uh, ITU's push for more women and girls to embrace technology? And, and what else do you think can be done to get more women and girls into ICT? Well, I think, first of all, IT has done a tremendous job because they have been the ones that have put this on a national agenda. Girls in ICT Day, uh, the GemTech Awards, which I think are tremendous. Um, are they doing enough? There's more to be done because this divide is just so wide. 
And I think what they've done with UN Women, which is to bring a women-focused organization, also UN, a multilateral body, into this, I think is also very significant because it just, um, it gets, it's a, it, they, they get a much wider hearing and it's, it's a much wider audience that they're speaking to now, just as, not just ICT ministers, but also ministers that are in charge of women, rural development and all of that, social development. And I think that just widens the, uh, the context that we have in terms of girls in ICTs and, and, and women in, 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 in ICTs. So I think that they've done quite a lot, but there still needs to, a lot more needs to be done. Um, we're all, um, uh, when I say we now, all the different countries are coming up with different initiatives to close the, gender, the digital divide. I think ITU has a role to play in ensuring that we share best practices. I met up with the Pakistani uh, Minister of ICT, who happens to be a woman, who's also doing things around girls in ICTs, and we've agreed to share the curriculum that we use in our girls, um, in our digi digital girls program in Nigeria. So coming together, bringing together best practices, sharing ideas, sharing best practices. I think that's one thing that ITU offers for all of us as a platform. I think that's one thing that they can also uh, do. But again, looking for organizations and um, institutions that they can team with and partner with who also have a women agenda, I think is one thing that we can continue to do. But doing a tremendous job so far, but still a lot to be done. And it's not just inspiring girls, of course, it's, it's also getting the men on board as well, isn't it? It's making sure that the culture changes and, uh, and that uh, men are supporting very much these initiatives. Absolutely, that's absolutely correct. So all our male ministers must ensure they also have uh, girls in ICT programs and programs that also, that actually bring women into the, into the world of ICTs, definitely. Minister Mobley-Johnson, thank you very much indeed for your presence in the studio today thank and you. thanks very much for those great answers. Thank you.